Hi, uh, Hi, you all right? Hi, uh. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good one. Oh. <laughs> I've been waiting for this parcel to arrive for a long time. So I've gone and bought myself the new GoPro Hero 8. So as you guys know, I'm going to be in Japan from December and I'll be doing quite a lot of skiing. As good as this camera is, it's pretty bulky, uh, especially for like skiing with. And if I put it in my backpack, I then have to be skiing really cautiously for the rest of the day to make sure that I didn't fall over on it or something like that. I've also got my phone, uh, which is really good. You know, it shoots in 4K. Um, does slow-mo, whatever, it's not super stable, but it works quite well. Uh, although practically, I'm not gonna be able to like mount it to my helmet or something like that. And uh, I really don't wanna lose it or break it. I don't wanna lose or break any of my kit, but the phone especially would be quite annoying. I also have my older GoPro, the Hero 4 which is pretty good again, um, although the audio on it's not so hot, it's got to be in this waterproof case all the time, so it's kind of fair enough. And um, the biggest thing I find, the biggest turn off from watching a video is if it's really shaky or kind of juddering. And some of the footage, I'll put some up on screen now, that I get out of this can be particularly jarring. It's not nice to watch, it just sort of makes you feel a bit dizzy and a bit nauseous and you don't want to watch it. So that's really the explanation of why I convinced myself that I needed this camera. But in all seriousness, it's lightweight. Lightweight, baby. Super durable, waterproof, uh, shoots some really good video from what I've seen. And most importantly, it's got in-camera stabilization. Albeit electronic image stabilization, but still. Uh, a buddy of mine had a GoPro 7 last winter, and some of the footage he got from that was insane. So I've kind of been wanting one since then. Then this new one came out, and I thought, oh, why not? It's only about 60, 70 quid more than the the last model, the Hero 7. Uh, and I think for the features that it's got in it, it's worth it. So yeah, I'm really excited about what kind of quality videos I can get out of this camera and what it's going to bring to the channel. Hopefully it's going to improve the on-mountain sort of stuff at least um, and you'll be able to follow me on there. I'm also kind of curious to see how good it is as kind of like an everyday handheld camera. Uh, obviously it's not going to be as good as my main camera with the external microphone and everything else on it, but if it's maybe like 70% as good then there's some situations where I could see, just because of the size alone, it being worth using over this one. So yeah, uh, anyway, instead of just talking about it, should we go test it out outside? Classic Manchester weather, really. So uh, I'm going to flip over to the GoPro now. Here we are. How are we looking? I know it's still as miserable out, but there's a little bit of wind as well, so I'm kind of hoping the microphone's holding up and um, the colours are still all right. GoPros really don't do well in low light, so maybe this isn't quite the best test of it, but working with what I've given, Oh, there's a bit of some water on the screen. <laughs> Let me see if I can find somewhere a bit drier. Okay, we're underneath like a pretty big uh, fir tree or something here. It's providing some good rain protection. Um, I'm quite impressed actually. I've got the app up on my phone so that I can see what the camera's seeing. And I really don't have to hold it that far away at all. This is way more comfortable. With the big camera, I have to really hold it right at the end of my arm 
in order to just get like a normal amount of the picture in frame and to be able to see everything. But this is actually a lot more comfortable just kind of holding it basically like I hold my phone. Um, I think it's dealing quite well with the wind noise. They've definitely improved the microphone a lot. I'm going to do a little bit more of a test now with a few of the other features that it's got. Uh, I've got it on the tripod stand at the minute, so I'm going to go set it up and maybe do a bit of slow-mo. And then there's another feature called Time Warp that I really want to use as well. Kind of like a time lapse, but it moves. It was only after I did all of that that I realised I must look like an absolute weirdo just playing by the playground all by myself in the rain. I mean, honestly. <laughs> what a nutter. Okay, we're going to try the last, um, the last feature I want to have a look at, the time warp now. So I'm going to start from one side of the park and walk all the way through to the other. And I'm just going to have it by my chest. We'll see how it looks. I don't know about you guys, but I was actually really impressed by the performance of the camera. Like that time warp thing at the end there, it's got a button on it that I can press and it slows down to real time. So as I went past the rock and then past the bench later on, you can slow it down. I think that's gonna be really cool for like walking around streets in a city. The audio quality on it was really good as well. So I can definitely see myself using it more for the handheld things. Um, so yeah, generally super impressed on my first impression with it. I'm going to definitely do a few more videos over the next couple of weeks on it. Uh, I want to do one where I compare it with my old GoPro and a bit more about the features and some tips and tricks with it. So stay tuned to watch them.